Hi, because of Google's recent update, I am making a new video to show how to get ECG and blood pressure monitor working on a non Samsung phone and installation without a PC. What we need to do is go to the developer's web page which is on XDA. I'll put the link in the description. Here you can find everything that will help you with this app, any updates, any questions. I'm going to scroll down, right down to, there's a link here for his Google Drive. Click on that. Once we're in, we need to install the watch. So we've got the watch folder, and it's the bottom one, the EAP key. We are going to download this. I've actually already got it, so I don't need to install it. What you do is install. Then we back out of there, and we go to the bottom, and this is for the phone app. Again, I've actually already got this on my phone, so just install it. And then we're back out of there. We need to go on the Play Store. I've put the link in the description again for the app we need. It's actually from the developer himself. So you, again, you would download this and then you actually install it on your watch. So you'll have it on your phone and on your watch. Now on your watch, you need to turn on developer mode. If you don't know how to do this, I'll show you. You've got your settings right at the bottom about watch. Then we've got the software information software version you continuously tap it till it tells you it's turned on and go back back then we have developer mode go down to adb debugging we want to turn that on and you go down to wireless debugging turn this on just wait a bit till it connects to your network and try again and there we have the ip the address and the port number of this watch. Now we'll go back to the app that we download as the Play Store. On your phone, you use which language you've chosen, then Manager. Then it'll tell you if it's installed on your watch, which is mine's installed. Then we're going to Network Discovery. I'm going to choose mine's over Wi-Fi. It wants a pairing number, so we'll go back to the watch. And where we had the Wi-Fi debugging pairing number, it gives us a number. The code to put in, so we just put the code in. And then we're going to let it discover the IP address. Now it wants to know which one it is. So I have to look at my IP address. Mine ends in 112. 112. Okay. Now if you look at your watch and the phone at the same time, I press proceed. And hopefully, yeah, they've both gone through. So now I'll be able to send the app from the phone to the watch. So the two apps were installed from the website at the beginning, the watch one. So I got the two, the phone one we've already installed, now the watch. So I'm sending this over to the watch from this phone. It should come on. And there it's done. If we now go back to the watch, you can actually see that's the original app that comes with the watch, which I can't use, as I use a Pixel phone, not a Samsung. So we go back, and if you just look for it, it looks very similar to it, there's a modded one. I'm not going to go into all the calibration as I've done it in the other video, I'll put a link to that video just here, that's where I'll show you how you set it up with the blood pressure monitor. And to get an accurate reading, you do need a blood pressure monitor just to calibrate it. And then that's it done. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.